This is a boat that we bought five years ago. It had been in a boat yard standing on shore for seven years. So we bought it very cheap and she was in a terrible shape. Uh, we took her to Sweden and then we started to do a lot of things uh, to, uh, to make her able to, to race with a lot of, of constructions inside for the winches and for the, uh, the mast, but she's very strong. All of, on board are old, uh, uh, very, very skilled sailors. I mean, Magnus Holmberg, that is uh, helming, he has three Olympics, and we have a lot of guys that have been sailing America's Cup and, and so on board. So all of us have been uh, good sailors. Uh, it, that's rather strange because when she was built, she was faster in light wind, but now we are faster in strong wind. So actually, I don't know what we have done, but. <laughs> I've owned her for 35 years, since 1989. Um, she was the British challenger in Fremantle, like the other Grand Prix boats. This boat started life with us for offshore racing. Um, and in the first few years when I had her, we converted her as a cruiser racer. And we took part and completed four Fastnet races. But we never had a chance to race against other 12 meters until the 2001 Jubilee Regatta in Cowes. But for the last 10 years, she's been laid up ashore. And our, our crew, an excellent crew, all, all British, eight of them from our own yacht club, only two people had ever sailed on a 12 metre before, and they've all done really, really well. We're pleased with our result. We decided this would be our last year with Crusader. After 35 years, she's for sale now. We see it as a, an opportunity to sail these boats, these dinosaurs now. And I love the 12 metre. I'll be very sad to see her go. I reckon I've sailed her about 45,000 nautical miles personally. She's an old friend to me. We've had a wonderful time and I'm very happy with my crew, very happy with the event. It's been great. Our boat is exactly as it was in Fremantle. I think we struggle in light airs. I think under 10 knots is difficult for us because of the wing keel and because of the setup. But the boat was designed around the Fremantle conditions. Um, and I think the stronger the wind for us, the better we, it is. And here we are, a bolt standard straight off the blocks from Fremantle with no changes at all. So it's, it's amazing how close they all are actually. Mm -hmm.